This is our interview with Fleet Street. Co. Dot NZ. <laughs> Fleet Street. Co. Dot NZ. How did you come up with the idea for for Yeti? Dan came up with "You'd Be Funny" as a Yeti, and then we started running this flat-based sort of Yeti thing, and we wondered who could come and do it with us. And Tom Sainz, Brina Vet Pazrons was the perfect combo. Where did the Yeti idea come from? I don't know, Dan. You just said Yeti. I can't remember. I think it was just the idea of an abominable snowworm one was just yeah. kind of funny. Why should people come and watch the trilogy, the Yeti trilogy? Because they will pee their pants with laughter. Because it's crazy. Yeah, there's nothing Escapism. like it. I think even people who go, the response afterwards is, you, it was, they love it, they love it, they wish it hadn't ended, is, and they're just like, you can't describe it. You have to come and see it, as my friend said to me the other day. You'll feel better afterwards. Yeah. What characters do you guys play? We'll start with Tom. Who, who are you? I play, I play Tom, a character called Tom, who's very loosely, well, pretty closely based on the real me. He's a screenwriter who works at JV Hi-Fi, <laughs> and he's a he's a failure. But he's married to Yvette, um, who's this great actress, and she, you know, she's 20 years my senior. But we've kind of met. We met online, and we kind of hit it off. I play Yeti. Yeti. I play Rudy Kimawaya. Yeti. Yeah. Who is Tom's love interest and becomes Tom and Yvette's flatmate. Now become Yvette's best friend until basically their marriage. She kind of uh, she comes to the flat. She's fresh from Nepal. Yeah, the Himalayas. Mm. And she comes to New Zealand to for es her away. Yeah, well, to escape the illegal fur trade because the Yeti's being wiped out for their fur, and also because of the Chinese communist regime. Yeah, well, I fit in um, as Tom's. I play Tom's mother, um, who's called Mum. And um, she is quite a, quite you know, sprightly for her age and quite capable um, woman. She's um, into making websites and she's onto this new internet, internet thing. And she's trying to get Tom to work with her and collaborate to make this web series. And she basically stop at nothing to to make that happen. So what are the for each of you? What are the highlights of the show for you guys personally? I quite like whenever there's high drama, or like whether it be melodrama, like when Yeti's. I think Yeti's going to be dying or something like that, or when Yvette and I have big shouting matches. <laughs> so it's whenever it's high stakes, high drama, going over the top. Those are my favourite parts. I really love watching Tom and Yvette have a fight. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Um, Yvette's boobs, and there's a very special part of the play that I won't divulge, but it's a puppet and I love it. I like the final sort of 15 minutes of the show because like initially we you know we, we built the show up and it got more and more ludicrous and we had to find something that would best what we'd done in the first show. <laughs> How important do you think low budget productions are like this to like the, the whole theatre play, play scene? Well I think um, it is important to have for a start to have venues where people can put things on at low cost and so that's why Bats and Basement have been really great for emerging artists and I mean I guess you can be emerging for as long as you want to be <laughs> um, but um, but yeah if you if you choose no, to not invite anymore. that many people to your work um, but yeah I think it like I like lo-fi stuff and I think people um, can access it a lot easier than perhaps um, something in a more you know as part of a program <laughs> in a larger um, theatre company mm. so We've also kind of like embraced the low fineness in it. It's like we're not hiding, we're not trying to make it appear better and with higher production values than it right. actually is. Some of the props are so crap. Describe the, the play in three words. Melodramatic, zany, craziness. Yeah, off the wall, outrageous, heartfelt. Um, uh, primal, uh, ridiculous, fluffy. How often do you get to see a Yeti? Full stop. Full stop. <laughs> <laughs> Question mark. <laughs>